Okay, and I'll let us um, sort a three more again. We find an opponent with a rating of 2094. I'm going to move six. Um, yes, I did yes. Should be recording. Um, I'll go with e6 here. In the case of c4, most likely c5. Transposing in the case of d5 to the Peroni. Which we could pre move here. So d5 will take. We place g3. In that case, I will take on d4. And play a setup. It's sort of like a headshot. Let's see if he falls from trap here. Knight c3, I'll play queen c7 quickly. Okay, he plays that rather quickly, so. He's gonna play bishop b2. If he um, would play knight c3, now I'll play d5, which is uh, quite annoying for him. So, okay, I go knight c6 here. Can take, but uh, I think in general that's considered okay for black as I have captured towards this, the center and I'm going to play d5. Uh, Nothing wrong with that. d6. It's a little bit risky to play b6, so I'm going to put the bishop on d7. In case of b6, you can just take and then open a diagonal. And I've got two pieces lined up here, the queen and the rook. Bishop b7. And very important here, once you place rook c1, you can't allow knight b5. Once the rook is on c1, you can play knight d5, even though it's hanging, because pawn takes, pawn takes, and he will uh, regain the piece on the uh, c6, and therefore I'm going to move this knight now to e5. We can play f4, and uh, it would grab some space, but I'm playing the headshot. Usually the bishop is on b7, but this is uh, very uh, very similar. And then headshot would generally, generally not afraid of uh, Quite grabbing some space. We take b5, which is probably a useful break. If it takes, then we're uh, reducing his central control. I'm not worried about f5, I'll just go back to e5 with the knight. And for the moment, he can't play e5 himself. If e5 will take back, I introduce the option. Of some point of going on to b4, which does undermine the knight a little bit. And here I have to think about my options. I think I want to take just to uh, because it's only one pawn, it's going to be hard to, to maintain it. I think they're more tactical. Tactical chances that I take. Also, we're getting short on time here. We go h5 just to uh, mess with him. Thinking about h4, trying to undermine this this pawn chain here. Still no e5 break. F5 is uh, a bit risky. Mm, don't want to go for this. Uh, I can actually. Go for this now because g4, I take on f4, tactics, and this guy hangs, goes on to the queen. And he falls for that, I don't see any tactics. I didn't see that my queen could be trapped here, I can always go back to a3. Now he plays knight b5, which is supposed to be some kind of switch and suit, but let's just play quickly here. Let's get rid of this knight. Could play knight g6, but I think my bishop could become useful here. Mm. 
hopefully not to a distant future. And let's just play d5 here. Because he plays e well, we can't play e5. We'll just take it. Starting to undermine things. And now he has to be worried that at some point I will be able to introduce my bishop into the game. Um, let's just start with this. Just let you take. This pawn is hanging. So now we just need to uh, play fast moves. Now let's go here. And bishop f6, just trying to make fast moves. e5. Um, fast moves. Let's let him run this pawn. Oh, let's just take it. And take the hanging guy. Was it hanging before? Probably. Mm -hmm. Just like yeah, you know, we move. Um, let's go back. Let's go to the attack at some point. Let's bring off. Bring off. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, la 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 la. So the flag me, man. Not nice, man. The flag me. Come on, sir. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna succeed with the lag. Wait a second. Yeah, come on, I pre moved that. You see that 1.4 seconds of pre moved? Yeah, it's gonna be tough with the recording. Uh, so some lag. Let's see. What well, 20 now, which is reasonable, but uh, yeah, I should have won that. I thought I kept good control, and I'm not gonna play a rematch. I think we're more interested in seeing what happened there. So we go to analysis. I sort of like these headshot positions. So when I talk about headshot, it's usually when the black pawns are like this. And it's called a headshot because like a headshot, you know, it has spikes that will hit you if you come too close. Flexible defensive opening. Rather a counter-attacking. So, I, okay, there's a little trap here that I won many games with. If they go knight c3, we go queen c7, which hits the pawn. Actually, white can camp at this pawn in many lines, but pawn b3 here is actually not too good. And I've won many games like this. Uh, you can't take across the knight hand. So, you can go queen b3, but you're going to get a nice little pawn here on c4. So, I've actually had many games where they go like this. A take. Let me go rook c1, or even take and then rook c1. But I can't go rook g d8. And they quickly find out that they're gonna have a lot of trouble with this knight. And actually, not many people have found good ways to play here for a right, e5 is coming. But this is a different story. I went b3, so. Queen c7, a useful square for the queen in the uh, shock. This makes way for uh, it looks to be connected once I move my bishop out of c8. And I'm also influencing some squares here that I need probably to defend. Okay, this might make more sense now because. I probably have to take with a pawn this time around. And yeah, end position earlier, knight c6 takes. Well, maybe it's similar, maybe you can just play e4 here as well. And here I probably would have to play with e5, I think. But in this case, uh, here. I was thinking something like this, just trying to uh, disconnect the black pawn structure a little bit. This might be an interesting option actually. I think c3, and now bishop d7, I'll take c6 with the bishop. I'll just make normal moves. Uh, I'm letting this trick again. Let's say I make a robotic move and put e8 or e8, and knight d5 is strong. Can't live with it. 
with this knight if I move my queen. Then he can take on e7, get the bishop here. That makes my pawn just too weak. And if I take, he opens the line for the rook. Can't move this and he regains the material with a better position because of the pawn structure. Although, is this an. Uh, no, okay. I almost thought this would be a. Uh, <laughs> A special case, but because it takes knight takes, but there's uh, there's bishop c3. Fortunately, and then takes c6. So the trick works. And therefore, I'm gonna b5. Queen b8. I play queen b8 to uh, facilitate the b5 break. Get out of uh, get out of this and that a defender to b5 pawn, which comes here. Press a four. Knight plus the g6, both to both to the king side a little bit. I also want to be ready to jump back to e5. And what I played in the game, h5, h4 is sometimes an idea, and in that case, it's a good idea to hit the f4 pawn. Here, yeah, b4 is probably. I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe it just goes knight b5, and I have problems with this pawn. I would have to play d5. I'm actually never had a problem with the pawn, but maybe I'll lack, lack some play here a little bit. I just felt intuitively that I would have more tactical chances. I mean, if it takes with the knight, then you know, this is hanging by a threat. I just have to uh, just watch this one. Maybe I can even play e5 immediately. And if it takes with the pawn, what you did. I'm going to do some tactical chances, and we saw that immediately here. If knight takes f4, this probably just wins the game. Queen takes, queen takes, and I don't see any. Now I can trap my queen actually. So, okay, instead he went what? Uh, knight b5, yeah, turn g2. Which will become useful once I open up a position, which I thought I could do here. And let's see what happened here. Now. We have to the time trouble phase. If he doesn't take, I'll probably just play a solid move. Probably mm. like d6 or something, but I have to be aware of this guy being undefended. Maybe knight 2 here, that would be grotesque. Man. No, <laughs> I was thinking him hitting the queen, hitting this, but I can uh, capture this hopefully. <laughs> it's close though. Close, man. Yeah, that would actually be quite grotesque. Yeah, so maybe <laughs> we have an easy way to play there. So, yeah, but after this, there, there shouldn't be any chances. Fortunately, uh, I was too slow. I would like to play that on my. Recording, as usually, we'll be able to finish that quite easily. Also, up the clock, I mean. And as you can see, my, my last move, I can move with 1.4 seconds, which is ridiculous because a normal pretty move takes 0.1 seconds. So, okay, the remaining moves don't matter. Uh, black fell here. When I had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 moves to make with 1.4 seconds, I don't know. Well, chess.com that will be uh, an easy win, but here, unfortunately, that didn't happen, so we'll draw. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope this uh, recording is working. Bye bye.